how what's what are the things that we haven't covered yet that are uh, that you're focused on I want to pick it up from where Nicole just left it and I think uh, Joel I told this to you before when we spoke earlier today um, let's Take this Ben Gvir and Netanyahu resilience phenomena a bit out of the domestic Israeli context because I told you that every time somebody in Israel on the left screams end to democracy, a Ben Gvir gets a set of wings. We see it in Italy, we see it in Hungary, we see it sometimes in the United States. Whenever nationalism, patriotism is being attacked, then, you know, uh, more votes are, are going rightwards. And this is part of, of the entire phenomenon. Same goes for Bibi Netanyahu. The key to understanding Netanyahu's political greatness or resilience is to understand that he has been the face of the Israeli establishment for over 13 years. Yet a vote for Bibi Netanyahu every time, every election is regarded as the anti-establishment vote. It's a vote against the overreaching arm of the judiciary. It's a vote against unelected officials that have gained lots of power in Israel. It's a vote against the media. It's a vote against the so-called deep state. And you know what? For many Israelis, this for, for Bibi Netanyahu and for Israelis on the right, this didn't start with Bibi Netanyahu going down some escalator in 2015. It goes way back to his very first days in politics, way before there were any charges, any trials, um, or, or any Oslo Accords.